This is Liz. This is Jade. And this is Carly. And you're listening to Babes and Babies. You guys, we got to see each other for a total of two hours. I know. <laughs> In person. I was so sad. I know. I wish I could have stayed longer, but... Emmy's first birthday was the cutest thing in the whole world. Thank you. I know how it is though when you have like a tiny baby and it's just like you're on you're on baby time. Like it yeah. doesn't matter how like where you travel or what you're doing, you you are on baby time. Yeah. You guys, we went to um Emmy's first birthday this yes. uh past weekend in Kansas City and it was you guys both did such a good job. I mean, it was so cute. It was, it was cute. like, yeah. I mean, there was so much to do. There was a slip and slide for the adults and children, <laughs> but not our babies. Um, and that had like sp- a sprinkler system in it. That was like insane. There was a ball pit, a swimming pool, a snow cone truck, a photo booth. And then you guys did the setup and it was so cute. Colors were cute. Cake smash Thank was you. so cute. Oh. I'm know, so you're... sad it's over now, though. It's like that feeling, I call it Christmas letdown, you know, the day after Christmas where you have oh, so totally. much leading up to it and you're planning and you're getting all the perfect presents for everybody and you're so excited. And then the next day you're like, oh my gosh, all the planning, now what? <laughs> <laughs> totally. It's I know. I put, um, I put my outfit away. It was a retro pool party, by the way. And so we all yes. wore really cute retro outfits. And I got really sad when I put my clothes in the wash because I was like, wait, when am I going to wear these again? Oh, no. Oh By the gosh. way, which you, your outfit and Ep, well, and Evan's outfits, I put it on my Instagram. I was like, you guys <laughs> won the award for the best outfits because they were amazing. Your pants with the snails were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> were like a I just, cherry on top. I couldn't even believe that they were like snails. Like I was sitting in the car on the way to your party <laughs> and I looked down and I'm like, oh my God, I have snails all over my pants. <laughs> like I thought they were like, just loop like little i don't know like doodles or something swirls yeah Yeah, just swirls i don't know it was so funny there was also somebody on i don't remember which one of your photos you posted of us three and they said that we all look like farm wives and we're like what does that even mean what does that mean that was my photo i was like what do you mean i don't even know what that means i don't think they knew it was a costume party but whatever oh but but come on do farm wives wear like really crazy bright patterned clothes? Like, um, I don't... None that I've ever met. Yeah. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. It's so sad because like obviously Emerson won't ever remember it, but... It but was still, the feel, pictures I, are so cute. She'll yeah, look at I feel those. like it was a really great party. Liz and I like busted our butts that whole day. We put that whole thing together. I don't know how uh, you did that. Yeah. Well, Tanner's mom did it. She helped. Actually, a lot of people helped. Like she went and got the food and set up the food and um, Tanner's dad pulled the weeds in the backyard. And oh it my was God. a scramble. <laughs> yeah. It was a scramble, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, my dad and his wife watched Emerson for us while we set up. So oh. uh, I could totally do party planning. I think uh, I, you could, and you should. <laughs> Anybody that needs a party planned, call Jade. Her number is... No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to plan another party and I like don't have one, so... I mean, you could start helping me plan Bella's in six months, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I still can't um, believe she's six months. I was excited. I got to meet Bella for the first time. And oh my she, gosh, she is loves the sweetest. You. She is the sweetest little baby. And yeah, when she, she smiles, is. she like smiles with her whole body and it was I so know. cute. She it like so kicks cute. her legs. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's... She if I if I lived in Nashville, baby. I would babysit for you anytime. Oh my god, I would let you. I would but. actually trust you. I don't trust a lot of people <laughs> with my baby. <laughs> and I felt like Emerson, she didn't love me as much as I thought she would, which really made me sad. But toward the end, at the end of the weekend, she loved me. But then I had to leave. I think, <laughs> I think it was I know. I think it was a stimulation overload for her because then by the time it was just like us and it was more like her one on one with you, is where she really connected because she was playing like peekaboo with you and laughing. It and, sounded like a bachelor with her one on one with you, she really connected. Connected, oh my but... god! Yeah. <laughs> so, she connected so much. That's you, so she funny. left feeling really good about your relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, Carly! I was listening to uh, this last week's episode, and um, it's funny. I was I was listening, and you and Evan did the intro, and I felt like his energy was like really high and whatever. And then when you were talking <laughs> about your engagement, 
His voice it was the totally lowest energy. No, ever. no, no. His energy was good. It was his tone changed to this, and he was like, "Yeah, no and I way." Was just, yeah, listen to his it voice in the so, beginning, and listen when he talks about your engagement. And he's like, "So it's yeah, so it was weird. just listening to music and writing and preparing for oh proposing to you." Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't wait to listen to it. <laughs> he was just so funny because we had recorded those separately, and we recorded the engagement one first, and it was like it was like late at night after Bella had gone to sleep, and he was just like really tired. And so not like he didn't want to do it. Cause he was like, Oh, I'll totally do it. I just like, I'm tired. You know? And I was like, okay. And then it was just <laughs> so different than his energy <laughs> at the beginning. I was like, okay, Evan, but no, really he's, it says, so he still had good energy. It was just, he had like more of a love voice. <laughs> so you're saying his voice is like how crystals changes in bachelor in paradise <laughs> versus the bachelor. <laughs> She has a different voice. Evan has different voices for different things. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, speaking but yeah, of... yeah, Bella was just... Bella at the party... Yeah, we, we had to leave really early because Bella had, like, not taken a nap all day. And then finally she fell asleep inside and I was like, okay, we're going to have to go because she's, like, getting super frustrated. And then yeah. she woke up and then didn't even go to sleep again for, like, two hours. Oh, my god. I was like, oh, Oh, and I'm majorly injured... I was trying to like, this is really bad. This is a bad mom moment, but only for me. I was sitting in the front seat right after we left the party and Bella starts screaming. I'm like, I'm just going to go jump in the back real fast and like help her out. And Evan like went to slam for a stop sign or something. And I landed with my knee, all of my body weight completely on my knee on the seat belt. Oh, and you no. guys, I still am limping. Like I must oh, have no. bruised like my knee or something. It was so bad. And Evan's like, that was literally the worst timing for you to do that. So dangerous. And I was like, I was just trying to help her. And then like, I'm, I'm in the back, like freaking out and panicking while Bella's panicking. I'm trying to be calm to calm her down. But like internally, I'm like dying. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was, a, it was horrible. But Aww. Anyway, <laughs> Kansas City was really fun, though. It was super fun. Good, good. You guys all have to come where it's not so crazy. And yes. we can actually go out and do things and just chill at the house. And- I feel Absolutely. like it's hard when you have, like, a bunch of people in town for an event. It's, like, hard to spend good time with all the people that come, you know? And, totally. And unless you just take, like, a random trip out there and it's just you guys, you know? Then it's right. yeah. so much easier. When, if it, it feels like a wedding, like you're you feel like you're the host and you have to like make sure you're like talking to everybody and everybody mm-hmm. and like I felt like I kind of had to let this go I was like well because I was like everybody wants to see Emerson or take a picture with Emerson and I was like you know what she's a baby like just let you know like sorry right. you can't I mean I know everyone's here for her but it was like I didn't want her to feel you can only do as much as you can do and you have to like look out for her best interest at the right. end of the day right totally yeah. Um, so this is personal, but I started my period, so no go on the pregnancy yet. Uh, man, I no. need to start mine. It's, um, you're going to get, you're going to get pregnant before me. Just watch. No, I'm not. Cause I don't, I don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> and I that's think, why you're going to. Just no, wait. no. I mean, if it happened, it would be like uh, fine, but uh, we're, we're not trying to. Right. We're trying not to. Not to. <laughs> No. Yeah, but, but yeah, um, I think yeah. I think I cycled up with Liz because when Liz was here, so oh, I know I, I was wait, on my period. But you're, so yeah. you normally start like a few days before me, though. When did you start? Well, so I don't have like a 28 day cycle. Mine's like 25. So really, mine's, yeah. So mine's a little shorter. Mine's becoming so, later. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. So I'm, I'm like sorry, trying Jane. to figure out. It's like fine. It's just like now we're just like now. What do we do next? Try to make it work next time because for sh- I thought for sure this time it was gonna take. So we're gonna resort to the hand standing again. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, it worked last time. <laughs> it worked last time. And I think I'm I'm gonna look into like a fertility diet. Um, oh yeah, that's know. huge. So actually, one thing that you can start that's awesome is maca root. Mac and for him as well. It's like. A fertility it's a natural substance it's it's um basically a superfood from like ancient incan times um but i've met couples who they call their babies maca root babies because they were having a hard Whoa, time taking cool. getting pregnant and then they both start taking the supplement and they got pregnant where do i get that amazon anywhere really okay they have a, like, like just like 
Okay. Yeah, I used to take it for my thyroid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really? it's so good at yeah. balancing your hormones, balancing things right. out, getting it. Yeah, it's amazing. Actually, I thing. need to take that too. My hormones are really imbalanced. I've been very mean. I'm about to start my period and I'm very mean. St. <laughs> John's wort. Then you take St. John's wort. For meanness? Yeah. Can you if take your PMS I'm going to start crushing that and putting it in my food. <laughs> <laughs> No, my mom, so in high school, I used to PMS really bad. And I'd be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and my mom would be like, here, take these. And she'd give me St. John's wort. And then I'd start crying. I'd be like, you think I'm PMSing? This isn't my PMS emotions. These are real emotions. And she's like, oh my please gosh. just take these pills. <laughs> That's so funny. Get the mattress other mattresses look up to. At Nectar, they believe in love at first night. They are so confident in their mattress that you have 365 nights to get a full refund if you're not 100% happy. And they'll even pick up the mattress just to get it out of your hair. Although, let's be real, once you try Nectar mattress, there's literally no going back. Their mattress will shamelessly ruin you for all other mattresses. Nectar is so amazing to sleep on and Nectar sleepers actually fall asleep 20 times faster than people who sleep on other mattresses. They actually ran a study. The Nectar Sleep Mattress is 11 inch deep, just like we've talked about before. So yes, ladies, bigger is better and utilizes a unique five layer technology that no other mattress on the market has. No more terrible hot nights where you wish you could be sleeping on cool tile. No more stress about spending thousands of dollars on a good mattress that you will later have to replace. You won't be jumping out of bed in the morning since climbing out of Nectar's comforting embrace is just sad. Nectar promises a forever warranty on your mattress. Yes, we do mean forever, as in forever and ever. The mattress comes in a box. You heard me right. It's in a box. So you'll be enjoying your mattress before you even lay on it. We have an exclusive listener offer. Buy now and get $125 off and two free premium pillows with any mattress order and free delivery. That's Nectarsleep.com slash babes and get the best sleep of your life for the rest of your life. So what you, else is a fertility diet, Jade? Like what else comes with that? I mean, I think it's just like healthy fats, a lot of healthy fats. And I don't know, I'm going to look it up right now. But um, I know that a lot of women do fertility diets. Can I take that macro root while breastfeeding? Do yeah. You know, Liz? Yeah, you should okay. be able to. Um, I, you're so amazing for still breastfeeding. You're such yeah. a wonder well, woman. You guys, she wants it so bad. Like, I feel bad trying to, like, keep her off because she she just, I mean, if Emerson could have her way, she would be eating every two hours, I swear. Oh, wow. Um, but don't they say that that, like, makes it harder to get pregnant, too, when you're still breastfeeding? Yeah, um, but once you, so that that was the case, I think, when I wasn't having a period. But now that I'm having... Okay. Um, a uh, like a regular cycle, like uh-huh. my cycle is very regular, and there's nothing really weird about it. Um, it makes I it think the same. Then, yeah, and she's not obviously. I'm not giving her. I'm not giving it to her that often. Like mm-hmm. as I was, she's weaned a little bit. So yeah. I don't know. I may have to, but she's just not ready. It's so hard because I want to give her a sibling, but I want to give her what she needs. Right. <sighs> well, the dilemma. Being a mom is so hard, you guys. Like there have been days lately that I've just like, well, yesterday when I was in super bad mood and I was just really tired, I just like hit a wall. And at one point I just looked at Evan and I said, I can't do any, I've cleaned all day. I have taken care of this kid all day. I'm not doing another thing for like the next two hours. I'm going to sit right here and I'm not doing anything else. (laughs) And he was like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I just hit that wall. Yeah. Last night, Tanner... We were watching, oh, we were going to watch Bachelor in Paradise, but our TV didn't record it. But we were watching something on TV and Emerson was all over me. I'm like, I am feeling suffocated. I just need to take a minute. So I went upstairs. Yeah. He goes, he goes, where are you going? I'm like, to change into my pajamas and brush my teeth. Is that okay? Can you handle her for five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so just, hard. That's my me time, changing into my pajamas. Gosh. It's so, like, what... Man, being a mom is hard, you guys. Being I a mom know. is so hard. But like like Carly said, though, like breastfeeding, I mean, it's not proven to stop you from getting pregnant again, but I do think it is something that, I mean, you are cycling, you are whatever, but it could be your body's way of being like, we're still doing this right now, so we're going to wait to do that. 
you know. Totally. But then there's like women like who we had like Maya who got pregnant right. two, mo- two months after having a baby and she breastfed till her baby was six but months old. But everybody's body so is like, so different, you know, and our your body I like know. knows what's best for you. And it is hard. And I know it can be such a stressful thing, but stress is the worst thing that you can do while you're trying to get pregnant. Stress yeah. is so That's hard the- on your body. Is That's there the a, a root for that? <laughs> yeah. For stress? <laughs> yes. What uh, do we take for that, Liz? Ganja. <laughs> yeah. Ganja. Great That's idea. <laughs> actually, actually, CBD oil is supposed to help with stress, so mm-hmm. there you go. Let's um, go to Colorado. Yep. Yeah, no kidding. You get CBD oil online, though. Yeah. Um, because that doesn't have the THC in it. The Oh, the, gotcha. Yeah, it's just the supposedly medicinal part of it. Um, that's why I've been really trying to do like what's called uh, like earthing. So that's why I've been out doing like my compost and like working oh. in the yard and stuff is because it keeps you grounded and it's supposed to help with like your stress levels. So I, that's why I've been really trying to focus on that because it feels like it feels so good just to put your feet in the grass. Yeah. And yeah. Who I hate putting trying to, my feet trying in the grass. To, really? <laughs> Yes. I'm just trying, oh. trying to connect my to myself that way. You're so yeah. funny. Why I'm does it so feel not like? Gr- I don't know. It's like just like dirty and like ew. I, Carly, I feel like there's some <laughs> things about you where I'm like, oh, this girl's kind of hippie, and then there's things about you where I'm like, she's not at all. Like you're such a no. combination of things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you really are. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm like a spiritual hippie, but like I would I would do that because of the idea of being like grounded to the earth and like. Mother Earth, Mother Earth. And like I could go into it doing that and not be grossed out. But if I just walked outside, I'd be like, oh God. Like, especially like my backyard, I'm like, ooh, there's poop here. Like, oh, I'm gonna step on ticks or something. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. need well, any of that well, in my life. My compost is literally ninety-five percent horse poop. So Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jade, no. you didn't show us your compost. <laughs> I know, I'm sad. Oh man, I know. I didn't even see your house. I'm so sad about it. I thought about that. I was like, I didn't even give you guys a tour. It was so crazy. Okay. It was just, the party was crazy. It was super crazy. But it was yeah. so cute. Okay, let's talk about who we have on today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we have our very good friend, Ashley Iconetti, who you all know recently got engaged to her... What, what do you call it? Like The love of her life. Yeah. The unattainable that was attained. Yeah. The... I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to keep going, but it just stopped. (laughs) It was almost like they were star-crossed lovers, but the story had a good fairy tale ending. You know what I mean? Totally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, she's on to talk about her engagement and life with Jared and their future family plans and all that good stuff. I'm so excited to talk to her. Yeah, I am too. I mean, she's she's just a sweet human being and such a genuine oh my gosh, person. The nicest. Yeah, she really is. Yeah, she has a good heart. Except for when she said that I was going to go home really quickly after I got out of the limo. But that was like the only thing that she's not <laughs> <laughs> nice to me about. We didn't she know each other that? then. Yeah, she was like in the window when I walked out. To be, I mean, to be fair, I'd never do that insurance again. But um. But she goes, oh, God, she's going to go home soon or something. I was like, uh. <laughs> because, because of your pink tea dress? Uh, maybe that combined with the pink karaoke machine combined with the song. <laughs> maybe. Emmy liked it. I mean, she's- listen. Mm. It, was, it was something that I, I had to do. Oh, hi, Emmy. Emmy hi, says hi Emmy. now. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. It's her second Wait. it's her second word. She says hi now. She was saying hi to you guys. Oh my gosh. See if she'll say, say it. Oh my, gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so cute. Hi. Oh my gosh. Just so you guys know, I think the first time that she said it, Vito was FaceTiming with her and with me. And he kept saying it to her and then she said it. So that I'm gonna give so Vito credit cute. for teaching her hi. Um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh let's get ashley on and then she can say hi to her first <laughs> yes all right okay hi ashley, oh, hi, ashley. <laughs> hi, how, hi, how are you just the prettiest hi. look at you right now you just woke up and you're so pretty stop that seriously thank you you're welcome maybe it's love maybe it is love maybe it is <laughs> can you believe your life right now by the way 
it's so crazy. When we were watching Paradise last night, I was like, I just want, because, you know, I'm obviously relating so hard to Tia. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, I just am like, I want to go back to tell Ashley three years ago that I get to kiss you anytime now. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting next to me on the couch, and I'm like, I get to kiss you anytime. But, like, I want to tell old Ashley this. God, I want to tell old Jared, you're a big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of like, I got a tweet yesterday. It was like, what if Bibby were on your season? Because like that Bibby conversation just a really 180 things. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't have I mean, changed anything for like, us. I'm looking at you with the ring on your finger and it's just amazing. It's so weird. But also no, it's, it's so, so normal. Great. Yeah. Right. So are you like used to that idea now? The idea of being engaged? Yes. But I feel like I was like already like engaged to Jared almost for like three years, right? <laughs> 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 that is the most true thing you have ever said. <laughs> totally that attached. Oh, it's you, so funny. Honestly, though, you wouldn't go back and change anything, right? Like you're talking about, oh, I would, I wish I could go back three years and tell Ashley this, but would you really change your story? Because it's, it's such a, it, everything that happened is really such a big part of like why you guys are where you are now, right? No, definitely wouldn't change anything. We, um, I mean, we were able to go through so many like hurdles that most people won't have to like the early relationship because of the way we did things. Um, I think like there's a lot of people like if I, if I go read deep on message boards and stuff, they'll be like, I don't know if Ashley's prepared for like when it's not the honeymoon phase. And like, I think she's just thinking like very idealistically about it. I'm like, no, you don't understand. The first three years of our relationship wasn't the honeymoon phase. No <laughs> kidding. No yeah. kidding. I mean, but you guys have been seriously like, best friends for yeah like three years yeah it's crazy we really but that's are. so cool because now you're marrying like legit your best friend i know i never like when I, <laughs> this just comes from my mom <laughs> whenever we want i love your mom and stuff she'd be like you don't marry your best friend like i don't like that expression marrying your best friend like i don't know why she's always had an issue with that i guess like she doesn't like to like think of best friend in a romantic sense that's so funny. This bus driver just said that to me and Evan the other day. We were standing no in the front and he said, like, we were talking to each other and he said, oh, is this your brother? And I said, no, this is my <laughs> husband. And he goes, and he goes, oh, and he goes, you talk to each other like best friends. And I was like, ah. well, we are best friends. Yeah. And, and we looked at each other and we were like, that was the weirdest thing to say. That is so weird to say. It's so funny. My mom has always had an issue with it. Don't really know why. Um, I guess she thinks that I, I really don't know. But my dad has always been like, your mom's my best friend. So <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it's so funny. How do your parents feel like when Jared made the switch over to Ashley Town? Yeah. And he was like, I'm in love with you. Yeah. What, what was like going through your parents' mind? Like what if when you like, told them? Just like finally, you know, my mom was yeah. like, I knew this would happen. <laughs> Everybody yes. knew it would happen. Like his parents right. said the exact same thing too. We're, they're just like, finally, praise the gods because it's been <laughs> so ridiculous with you guys not being together. So there wasn't like any, you know, you know if you, in Bachelor Town, you can hear what the hometown would sound like. It's like, right. you've heard her many times. <laughs> la, 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 la. She's been confused. But that's yeah. not how it was at all. It was just like, all right, yay, finally, let's get it going. I mean, your parents are so great. Like, I want to have you. your parents as in-laws. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We're both I very lucky parents. on the in-law front. So, Jade, the other day, I was in the airport, and exactly what happened to you a few months ago happened to me and Bella got a major, major blowout. Oh no. And I realized that I'm just using the wrong diapers. So I made the switch to honest company diapers. Seriously, they're 17, they hold 17 times their weight in fluid for advanced leak protection. That's insane. I'm never going to have a blowout again. Plus they have really cute um, fall patterns that I know it's like under clothes, but I'm really obsessed with. (laughs) I love diaper patterns. 
And they're seriously the softest diapers. Like the inside is like, it's like a cloud. It like keeps me happy because there's no blow- blowouts and keeps Bella happy because it's super soft. Yeah, um, they're so soft, gentle, hypoallergenic, and dermatologist tested, which I think is great. Uh, the best thing about Honest is their bundle options. They have their diapers and wipes bundle that gives you the best deal on a monthly supply of their diapers. So you never have to go to the store and it saves you up to almost $17 on each shipment. That's so crazy because the worst thing ever is when you look and you have one diaper left. This is such a good preventative measure. <laughs> <laughs> I have been there. <laughs> oh. Um, They also, if you aren't 100% satisfied, they will work with you to create a solution. They sell trusted home cleaning products and beauty products too. This is an exclusive listeners only deal of $25 off your first month's diapers and wipes shipment. Visit www.honest.com slash babies and insert promo code honest at checkout. Also, that's babies, not babes. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I don't know anything about Jared. What are Jared's parents like? They are like, they're so cute. They're like a little like sitcom couple to me. But I feel like all like if you're seeing a couple in natural habitat who like get along really well and they have a good sense of humor, they're like always like a sitcom couple. Yeah. But they, they're just, just mushy and just like the cutest little things. They're just like cute. It like describes them. And That's really cute. Uh, they're Aren't like you all- very warm, very warm, friendly, uh, of course, like, wants to cater to our, like, every need. Aww. But they're also, like, have, like, the strongest New York, uh, Long Island. Yes. (laughs) England accent. (laughs) And it just, like, makes it even all funnier to me. That is so funny, totally. The other day, his dad was like, clock hasn't done this in a long time. I was like, the clock hasn't done that in a long time. <laughs> He's like, no clock. Oh, Clark. Oh, God, Clark. No. <laughs> oh, Clark, the dog. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, man. That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Your dogs are both so cute, too. Yeah. They're cute so dogs. Cute. Yeah. They did. We do. I um I remember like seeing when everything when you guys like got together and stuff on Instagram and it made my heart so warm because like you could just tell like how in love you guys are and like how genuine it is and I feel like that's sometimes that doesn't like come across through photos but it did in your guys's you know oh that's the nicest thing to say thank you <laughs> it was just like ah <laughs> <laughs> Because you're just awesome and you deserve the best. So as long as he treats you the best, that's great. But if not, I'll stab him. So (laughs) (laughs) here, now I miss you. Um. (laughs) But um, so do you guys, I know people want to know, like, do you guys have wedding plans? I know we know we've seen like you've been wedding dress shopping and everything like that. Wait, did you find one? I you found the dress. Yeah. <gasps> you did. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. <laughs> but then you're like, oh my God, does that mean I never get to go wedding dress shopping? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it no, is I what that means. Have to, I have to leave at 10 15 because I have a, a customized wedding dress appointment that like we had on the books for a while. But I was mm-hmm. like, no, like this is the one. If anything, that they'll like maybe design. A reception dress, but like the reception Ooh. dress, I would only get into like after the first dance, after the father daughter dance, and all oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, when the party starts. Sure. Yeah. Um, That's so fun. But yeah, we just the wedding planning was <sighs> a lot more stressful at this point than I thought it would be because I think it'll be all fun once the venue's booked. But Jared and I have been looking at venues in Rhode Island, and everything. There's like maybe one week, one Saturday. Like oh my gosh. at each place. Maybe. Some of them are totally sold out of Saturdays. God, why? Ugh. So you're, you're, but you're Ashley and Jared. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <So> guys, <laughs> when are you planning? Like next you said next September? Next summer. We want to do Stop August, early September. And they're July. already they're already booked. Oh yeah. Everything's oh already gosh. booked. Oh, it's that's really insane. crazy. I'm stressed. Out I saw you're trying to get Taylor Swift's house. Taylor, if you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening I'm going to really need to start that campaign a little bit harder. No kidding. We went to go visit this one place, Ocean House, 
And then I'm looking over at like the surrounding houses and I say, that is Taylor Swift's house, isn't it? And she goes, we like to be private about our neighbors. Stop. Oh my gosh. But wait, didn't, oh my gosh. didn't Taylor yeah. Swift hit? Didn't Taylor Swift hit on Jared? So like, well, sort of, kind of, but not really. <laughs> like, she could say that if they were both, well, she was single, but if she were single, he says that he would have felt a little, a little flirtation coming as well. There is a little something going on. Andy said she was so nice, and that makes my heart very happy. Yeah, I know. Me too. I love her so much. Me too. I'm very jealous. I want to be hit on by Taylor Swift. She also, well, <laughs> let's not spread the heat at all the rumor, okay? <laughs> but she was uh, just very humble, he said. You know, introduced herself, made it seem as if there is no reason for him to know who she was. I like that. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are you guys going to, you're going to, so you want to get married in Rhode Island, but you're both going to continue to live in LA? Yes. Yeah. So short term, like the next five years is LA. Um Unless, like, something crazy. I dream so big, it's, like, nuts. Like, I want to be a Broadway producer now. So this is my new thing. Um, can, you, can you please put me in your show? I was just going to say. You. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> That's what Wait, I was just going to say. <laughs> Don't make me dream even more. Oh, my no. God. No, dream it. Dream it. Okay. Let's do okay. it. I'm into it. I'm into it. But then, like, yeah, after that, we'll start thinking about moving to the East Coast. Jared looks at real estate every night. On the East Coast. Oh like, my gosh. Oh, and he misses it. That's so good. He's putting it in the universe. I like it. You can have places oh, in both. I like that too, because that's what I tell him to do all the time put it in the universe. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait, Listen. we talked about this, Ashley, when we talked about how. You, you were like, usually when I put something out there, I usually get what I want. It comes up, you know, and, and this is what you what happened with you. You you eventually got Jared. We were talking about putting things out in the universe. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I 100% believe in the power of positive thinking. I can't wait to do our Broadway show. I already started thinking okay, about <laughs> what, how Bella's going to, my mom will stay one week and then Evan will come home and I'll live like. Maybe by Gramercy Park. It's really pretty over there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the perfect lead in my show. I'm not even joking you. I might, okay, I'm so ready. I might want to okay, be like wonderful. a backup dancer. Can I be a backup dancer though? Are you a good dancer? I actually am. I actually, so in high school, I was like in competitive show choir. I'm really good at harmonizing and dancing. <laughs> so, but I just want to be like a tree in the background or something. Okay, well, we can definitely get you in the ensemble. <laughs> but Carly, Perfect. I'm thinking how well you fit in the lead role. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yes. I, I, I will take it. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Even more eyeballs coming to see it with Carly as the headliner. Listen, that would be amazing. That's but, my dream. So that, I mean, that does fit in big picture. If you guys want to move back to the East Coast, a lot of Broadway's in New York, you'll be closer to oh, all of that. Oh, that's what I mean. I'm like, hey, if you, if we make the Broadway dream happen within five years, which is so not good, that, you know, very No, good. listen, Ashley, that's my, also my dream. Evan and really? I have been talking about it. Yeah, I said, I want to do a Broadway show in the next like five years. That's okay, why I'm that's trying great. to figure out what, like if I want another baby or not and how I would fit that in. Like no joke. <laughs> okay, great. So the only reason I say it would be longer than five years is because the musical that I wrote when I'm not even joking you, twenty I was twenty two, I wrote a musical the summer getting out of college. And it's just it's not I didn't write the music obviously, but I wrote a storyline around pop music, like my favorite pop music songs. That is Oh my awesome. gosh, that's so cool. We would need to get the rights to the music, and apparently that could take like way over five years. But I oh, know we can now. do it. Okay. Yeah, get it in the works. I'll help. I don't know what to do, but I'll help you do it. <laughs> okay. Well, now we're accomplishing two dreams at once. So yeah, I love it. Yeah, I want to take a second to talk about healthy habits and how important they are to me in maintaining my good skin care. Um, I found this awesome product called BioClarity. It is clean. It has a green, gentle skincare product line, and it helps me get naturally glowing skin that's 100% vegan and cruelty-free. It has this new ingredient called Floralux made from chlorophyll. It's amazing. It comes in an easy three-step product. It's easy to do, and I see results almost immediately. I mean, seriously, Liz, your skin is absolutely nuts. It really looks like it's glowing all of the time. So 
to be like you, um, I started using the Essentials Routine for a normal or dry skin. It's three easy steps. Cleanse, restore, and hydrate. It contains hydrating plant extracts like chamomile, green tea, cucumber, licorice root, argan oil, shea, plus what Floralux, what you talked about. And it's hydrating, but like lightweight. So it's great for spring and summer. And it helps minimize my redness. Seriously, I have the reddest skin and it's all the redness is almost gone. It reduces pore size and evens out the skin tone. It's delivered straight to you and it's an easy to use three-step skincare routine that's 100% vegan plus gluten and cruelty-free. So if you want to try the products that we're using, you can get started on healthier habits with your skincare routine. Just go to bioclarity.com. Our listeners will get their first month for 50% off and it is free shipping and it comes with a 100% risk-free money back guarantee, but you need to enter our code BABES. That's bioclarity.com and enter our code BABES to start getting healthier looking skin now. Um, okay. What is your favorite thing about Jared? My favorite thing about Jared is probably how much he tolerates me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry, like, Emmy was laughing along with that. Uh, what is your you favorite like physical trait of Jared's? His eyes. Yeah, yeah, his eyes. His lips are really great, too. Like, everything's <laughs> really great. But he is just, he just deals with me so well. Like he just knows how to deal with my emotions, and yeah, he just he just literally knows what to do at all all the right times. What would he say that his favorite um, trait of yours is? Trait of mine is, I think it's like a, like more of like an essence, more like the way like I play with him, more like it's like just like being playful and like snuggly with him. That's so cute. Y'all you are guys, very affectionate. You are. You guys are the snuggliest. <laughs> yeah. I want to be snuggly. I, I think, think as like a you friend. will say it's kind of just like unspoken, but just the way that we click. And yeah. Yeah. He you guys really do. So well. That's yeah. nice. He always has. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait, though. Do you guys fight? Have you had like a really big fight yet? Um, really big fight. We've had like a couple serious conversations that aren't exactly fights. And then maybe the only time we ever fight really was when like the past is brought up. Oh, because yeah. it's yeah. so not normal to like yeah. have to see your significant other like dating other people, right? Yeah. And like, having to know their past so specifically and like right. having to see their people like on TV and stuff. <laughs> So the only yeah. time that that's happened or, or like, you know, been there when it was actually happening and the only time we really fight is like if something triggers like the history conversation. Oh, yeah. But there's, yeah. only been, there's only been one in like our actual relationship. Okay. Yeah. We'll get like a little bit like tiffy about it sometimes, but there was only like one where it was like an hour. So who gives in? Is it usually Jared that gives in and you win the argument or? He usually like has to, you know, like giving in just means that he like kisses me and becomes a mush again. And then I <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Cute. But, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if I just give me anything to win in that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not thinking really to win, but he, he does usually have to turn into the mush. Yeah. Well, see, Tanner's like, he, he argues just to win the argument. So that's my husband. <laughs> so does Evan. <laughs> yeah. That's Tanner. That's got to be real annoying. <laughs> well, that's why I just give in. I'm just like, okay. All right. When he gets really, when he gets really heated, I'm like, are you done yet? Do you feel good? Do you get it all out? And he just like looks at me and gets so mad because he knows I'm like, just not playing along anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's so unhealthy, Tanner. Come on now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's a little boy sometimes. All so, men are boys. I know. To, to be fair. Um, we are so advanced as women. So advanced. <laughs> <laughs> We're so emotionally wise. Yes. Um, um, oh, go ahead, Liz. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I feel like I relate to Ashley a lot, though, because I know what it's like. Because 
my boyfriend I'm with now, we kind of dated before and he kind of broke my heart. And then we didn't talk for a while. Then we ended up getting back together. So the only time he really gets heated is if something from the past gets brought up, then he kind of gets triggered. But he's like, it's just because I know Mm. that like I hurt you and that makes me sad. But like, and I'm like, always like, but babe, like everything's good now. Like we're in such a good place now. And he's like, then why do we have to talk about anything that happened before? (laughs) You know? Oh, I know. I know. That's what we need to like. We need to stop. It's just like, there's always constant (laughs) reminders when you have this weird bachelor relationship. Yeah. yeah, it's not like, and then like, just like somebody will tweet at us something, and I'll be like, oh, ah. <laughs> well, know? and then you you have the public constantly talking about it. Right. Yes, yeah. So once that calms down, you guys, when did you feel like the public scrutiny like, lifted a little bit? Um, it's. St- I mean, it comes and goes. Like it comes and goes with the airing of the show, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, gosh. It it depends on the day if I have negative comments about the way I'm parenting or my relationship with Evan or whatever. And I just, like, laugh it off now. I'm like, that's so stupid. These people do not know our life, you know? Yeah. But, well, I mean... I, I feel like that's the reminder, like, that you just have to continue to tell yourself, though, is whether somebody tweets at you or whatever. It's like, these people don't know our relationship. They don't know our life. They don't know, you know, like, how we actually are. So their comment really you can just dismiss it, you know? Yeah, right. That's, yeah. Like, that's the excuse always. It's just like, okay, well, they only saw a little chapter of the story. Right. And now we're ready for the next chapter. <laughs> Is that babies? Is that what we talked about babies? Yes. So when are you having babies? <laughs> <laughs> I swear my mom was like... I think you should get married earlier than next summer. And I'm like, mom, what do you mean? It takes like a year oh to my plan gosh, she a wants wedding babies. like this. And then she's like, apparently, if like my mom fight like Lauren got it out of my mom's dress, she wants Bubby, Bubby to be a great grandparent before she dies. Aww. Oh like, my god. Mom, I can't live like that. She's gonna she's 95. Oh gosh. That's I mean, I totally get it, but that's a lot of pressure. I know. I'm like, no. I'm like, mom, no, we're getting married in a year, and then we're going to take a year to en- enjoy married life, and then we will try. Yeah. Right, just, um, we'll try yeah. in two years. I think that's a good plan. I think, like, even yeah. if you live together before you get married and stuff, I mean, every couple is completely different, but I know, like, right. for me, like, I want to adjust to married life and just, like, enjoy that, you know, but... Yeah. Things don't always happen as you plan. And who knows? You might get Listen. married and then. <laughs> I know I people mean, who like. So, it just doesn't well, work out. I <laughs> took my IUD out like what? A month before our wedding. And then like obviously got pregnant within like two weeks of taking That's that out. Crazy. So my <laughs> advice would just no be way. very careful. That happened that fast? Oh yeah. Well, cause my IUD was like killing me and I, yeah. I'd been on tons of different birth control. It was like making me crazy. And I was like, you know what? I'll get on something after the wedding. Like no and way then, i yeah. didn't know it happened like that oh yeah like no i mean and ashley there was like one night it could have even happened and that was the one night it happened. oh my god bella you and little, welcome you baby person. bella she saw a door opening and she said here i come <laughs> <laughs> wow she but yeah little, um, i don't even know what the word is she really fought to be alive no, she really did. I I mean, because, you know, it's so hard to even say, I think, okay, now is the right time. Because there's always, like, something in your life that comes up. That, yeah. Oh, well, you know, yeah. I just, I'm doing this now, and I just, I want to do this for six more months before I do this. Or, well, I have a plan next year to do this, so I let's just wait another year or whatever. And I feel like we probably would have done that for a very long time, and she just needed to come. Yeah. And, like, honestly, it it makes our family dynamic so strong. And and I think, like, I don't know, it makes me even feel more of a part of the family because, you know, Evan and I both have our kid, too. And now, like, with his stepchildren, like, we're all now, a, like, a package deal. So, I don't know. I, she just needed to come. That's <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. She's the best. And her word that she says all day is mama, 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 mama. Actually already saying words now. 
Well, she's just saying mama. And she says, Baba and mama. She, she doesn't know I'm like mama, this. but she does it. Yeah, it's so cute. Right? I, I mean, I don't know. She's sitting up now. She's definitely, she like kind of looks like she's going to crawl, but I don't think she's going to crawl anytime soon. My dad's like, she's not going to crawl yet. Look at that. I'm like, dad, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's gonna do it come on bella prove my dad wrong she's it's so, so happy i know she's so happy she has your temperament which i love and your face oh, mm-hmm. oh my gosh i know she is she is like a little pistol now you guys she throws tantrums when she doesn't get what she wants she does all the things that she's not supposed to do she does isn't it, <laughs> but isn't it crazy oh. how babies just like naturally learn how to do that you know, it's, it's not like you taught crazy. her to throw a tantrum. They just start doing right. it. <laughs> like, right. Everything's oh, wacky. Even the way like they're just like, okay, poop's coming out of my butt now. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Lots it's like, of how poop. did they just decide? They're just like, all right, I'm going to push into this diaper. Oh my gosh. I've changed so many diapers. Well, uh, then all of a sudden the poop still is coming out and I'm like, oh, ah! yeah. yeah. You have that to look forward to. That's fun. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know I'll never actually be ready. So, like, setting a time right. is probably good because I'll be like, no, not ready for my freedom to be lost yet. I know. It is, I mean, it is definitely, I mean, your freedom does get lost. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> but then you can find little times here yeah. and there. Like, Evan and I just went to New York without Bella for a couple nights and it was fantastic, you know? And then you come back and you. Get her back from the grandparents, and then you figure out when you can do it again. <laughs> utilizing the grandparents a lot. Oh, man. And the grandparents love it. I you know. know. Oh, I yeah. know. My mom could not be more overjoyed just for thought. Yeah, I know. I was like, Mom, I'm so sorry, because we our flight got canceled, and we ended up having to stay an extra night. And I was like, I'm so, so sorry. And she's like, Carly, it's fine. We love her. We're having so yeah. much fun. I'm like, okay. And then I got home, and she's like, oh, my God, we're exhausted. But... But, you know, like, there's no better place for your kid to be than with their grandparents who love them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so wait. Can we talk about your actual engagement at all? Is that a thing we can discuss? Or do we have to wait to watch it on TV? I I can tell you that it happens in September on TV. Okay. That's good um, to know. Yeah. So it's it's not next week, guys. (laughs) Okay, well, I'm really excited to watch it. I'm excited, too. I think it's going to be, like, a blip. Like, I can't, because we were only there for an hour filming it. Like, oh, we my were, That's yeah. insane. That's insane. Are you, like, so excited to be, like, like, do you remember it happening? Like, there are things, like, I feel like in my engagement, I remember and things that I'm, like, I have did not remember that at all. I think, like, I'll determine that once I see it back. Yeah, I guess I'll that's talk, true. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. But yeah, I just remember Jared saying, like, all the cute, sweet things that he tells me on, like, a daily basis. Oh, and gosh. That is so kind cute. of combining them all into one speech. And oh they're going to cut it down because Jared, like, was very long-winded. They said it was the longest proposal of all Bachelor. That's amazing. But, like, it's also hilarious because it was the longest relationship 100 percent proposal could you ask them just for the footage of it just like raw footage so you can I just have think, that i think alon said that he could probably get that yeah um yes you've yes. been through enough wait so <laughs> do, when you guys when you went to mexico then is that like did you know that's what was happening I had inkling, like, I was, like, 50-50. Like, Carly and, and Jade, no. J- I mean, I use, it was trying to use Jade for all the information she had. <laughs> they were all really good actors and actresses because they threw me off very much at the very end of it all. Um, and not until the day of did I was I like, I still think it's going to happen. So did you wear a dress just, like, did you have, like, the dress just in case? I did. <laughs> I definitely like, picked out the dress hoping that like the 50% chance that it would happen was going to happen. So when did you know it was going to happen? Like when he just started talking? Um, or did you know like when you were like entering paradise? No, when he pulled me over to the bar, like so we had like this little part where we talked to the cast for a second and then we went down to the bar where we technically first met. Gotcha. Kind of started with his spiel there. And I was like, 
oh, oh this is it happening. <laughs> this is <laughs> happening. It happened now. Oh my gosh, and then, it's so exciting. And then it did happen for so long. Like he did like go on like a right. warm and feel that like when he pulled me apart, like across from the bar, I was thinking, oh, okay, it's not happening now. He's literally just reminiscing. So. Oh, oh gosh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing for a second because I didn't think it was going to happen like so soon. But anyway, you guys have to watch the rest of it. Did oh you my gosh, go I can't ring? Wait. Did you guys go ring shopping before? Did he kind of know, like, have an idea of what you wanted, or did he pick it all out on his own? No, my sister and my closest producer, they both kind of had a hand in the ring yeah. uh, picking out. I mean, not picking out. Like, obviously, Jared picked it out and like even helped design it a little bit with Neil Lane, but. Um, the concept no big deal. of the uh, <laughs> square radiant cut was was uh, you know shown by my sister in the first in the first place, and then uh, Jared was like, "Actually, that is the kind of cut that I wanted to get." Anyway, oh, that's so oh sweet. my gosh! I mean, your ring is like to die for. It's so beautiful, it's and it looks it's perfect it's on your hand. You need to have your nails done all the time. You need I, your nails gosh. done because look at these little pieces. I know I have fingers. nubs too. I know. (laughs) I mean, my fingers are super small anyway. But as a mom, there are things you just give up. The last pedicure I had was the week before Bella was born. You guys have had a pedicure and like, it's time to get a pedicure. It's time. I know. I know. (laughs) They look so bad. I haven't even painted them since. And I had messed up my pedicure right when I walked out of the Uh. place. So then when I was getting my epidural, like they make you lean forward. And I was looking over at my like chipped nails and I was so mad at the time because I was like I should have just gone back and redone my big toenails because now look no at this way. terrible pedicure yeah that's, <laughs> that's so stupid that's what a that's stupid what thing to think and now I'm like oh man maybe I shouldn't go and get them redone now oh it's ridiculous the things um, you remember that are so, so funny fun. Ashley, do you have a lot of people that reach out to you who were maybe in a similar situation as you and Jared um, like what advice um, would you give to women out there, like hoping to find love, but having this friend they're kind of in love with? It's kind of tricky because like a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you make me believe in love again. You give me so much hope. Like I've been, I'm like in this, this circumstance or I have been, and maybe you feel like it could actually happen. It's like, kind of like, I love that we make people believe and hopeful it's the nicest compliment yeah but then also kind of like um he's just not that into you, the movie like there's yeah. an exception <laughs> to the rule and i totally. do have to say that i probably am the exception to the rule but like if you do have like the weird friendship the way that you know jared and i did or like even t and colton do there was like some weirdness where you're like just never gonna just be friends there's definitely a uh-huh. layer beyond Totally. You can tell if you're in a friendship or if you're in a confusing friendship. Yes. <laughs> Very well, true. because you and Jared had, like, kissed before. It's not like y'all hadn't kissed. It's not like you guys were right. just strictly friends. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's kind of like girls out there, if you're met, if the friend in question has shown physical affection to you, like, shown attraction, then, yeah, there's hope. But if right. you never wanted to touch you, then... <laughs> no hope. Probably not. Yeah. That's good advice. That's well, sad advice, yeah. but it is good advice. <laughs> Thank you so much for being <laughs> like, such you, an Ashley. inspiration, oh. you know? Oh. oh, thank you. We're so glad to have had you on. We love you. Yes. I miss you. Ugh. I love Wait, you. But- I miss you too. Carly, Jade and I will you. see you. <laughs> Jade um, and I will see you in October, though, because we're doing yes. a Fab Fit Fun photo shoot, I think, oh, together yes. but separate. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see I you know. soon. <laughs> um, okay, see you then. Bye. Uh, yeah. bye. bye. Okay, Thank bye, you so much. Yeah. If anybody oh. wants to follow her journey more, though, I was going to try to ask her that at the end, but... Um, oh, yeah. Do you know what her Instagram handle is? Um, I don't know. Ashley something. I'm going to look <laughs> it up just real quick, because her and Jared's photos okay. are honestly the cutest, and they are just the sweetest couple, and... They're fun to follow and give you hope. They're so fun to follow. And Ashley is so busy. She does like Access Hollywood. She does, I mean, she interviews everybody now. She's just, she's like that person who was always obsessed with The Bachelor and then made a career out of being obsessed with The Bachelor and 
being like the bachelor correspondent and then it changed to like being like an actual correspondent for everything else like she's right. living the dream i know her instagram yeah. is ashley underscore i Kennedy. so it's i-a-c-o-n-e-t-t-i um and that's why though i loved when she was just saying like being positive and putting it out there because i feel like she was that person who just like after the bachelor and everything she kept going for her dreams and kept doing the things that she wanted to do and like she actually yes. like busted her butt to like build her career and oh to get gosh. where she is 100%. And it's not like she just sat there and like posted photos and was hoping to be famous like she actually like did things that she loved and like actually worked her butt off to get where she is now 100%. so she's awesome yeah. She's so awesome. Oh, and if you um, don't hear Jade in this conversation anymore, it's not because we pushed her off a cliff. It's because <laughs> Emmy was a little upset, so she went to take care of Emmy, like a good mama. Like oh, there she mama. is again. <laughs> oh. And she's back. Oh, she's- hello, friend. Oh, man. Feed, feed, <laughs> feed a girl cheese, and then she gets happy. Oh, <laughs> As mm, do I. Want I. Some cheese. Mmm, <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> Well, we just had a great talk with Ashley, and she's the cutest, and we love her. And that's all there is to it. Mm-hmm. Are you Are you guys still recording? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just, we are. It, just, it feels so bad because, like, I just need to get, like, a nanny when we podcast because half the time I'm just, like, so disconnected because I'm, like, trying to, like, scramble and take care of her and, and, and talk. Well, that, I mean... Every mom understands. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's relatable because it's so many people can't just do whatever they want all the time. <laughs> right. I mean, when you're you like kids. a working from home mom. Like this is this is life. Every working from home mom gets it. Mm-hmm. You know, <sighs> it's just like lots of people don't record while they're working from home. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. No, but we were just talking about how Ashley and Jared are the cutest and they give hope for love everywhere. And she's just such a cool person. And just really sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I am so happy for them. Me too. How crazy. How crazy. But I I mean, I get it. Like when you have the aha moment, I had the aha moment with Evan. Like I totally, and people were so weird about it too. Oh, well, Carly's just doing it for this or this. No, I wasn't. Why would I do that? Like I had the aha moment because love comes to you in unexpected times and unexpected places. And then you are in the love and there's no getting out of the love because <laughs> love is great. <laughs> then you're in the love. Well, yeah. I think it's I think it's just cool because yeah, love doesn't fit in a box and people's stories don't fit in a box. It doesn't have right. to happen like a A B C D, you know. It's just right. everyone's story is so unique and and theirs is very unique. And I know that they're like, oh man, like all this like past stuff, you know, that's what bothers us the most, but it, it's really what makes them them. And it's, it's just really cool. And now they're getting married and they're going to have cute little munchkins soon enough. And oh my gosh. Yes. We can all go on vacations together. Oh my gosh. I feel like <laughs> so fun. I think We're she's going to, I love it. She's going to be a really fun person to watch as a mom. Cause you know, she's going to be like, I just changed my baby's poopy diaper and threw up. Like she's going to oh, be, right. <laughs> she's going to be funny to yeah. watch as a mom. I wonder if she'll have like little pageant babies just so she can like put makeup on them oh, and give them like hair gosh. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, I would vote for them. Vote for them for sure. Well, this was a fun episode, girls. Yeah. Yeah. Um okay. (laughs) Another awkward ending to another fantastic podcast. I swear (laughs) one of these times we'll like have a cool ending or it'll just be natural, but now it's like, yep. Okay. Bye. (laughs) That was it. Yes, but we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for listening to us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, join all the conversations. It sounds like head to our iTunes and subscribe and leave us a five-star rating. Yes. And hey, if you think you're crazy because you're a mom, you're not crazy. You're just like all of us. (laughs) Like Like me over here going crazy. Look at her. Uh, but she's really cute. Thanks, oh guys, gosh, for listening. Catch Thank you next you. week. Bye. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Wave Podcast Network. 
Check out all of our shows, including the Brain Candy Podcast, I Don't Get It, Babes and Babies, Coffee Convos, and Let's Talk About It.